Hey, welcome back, folks. This is Everyone Loves Pirates, and this is another episode while we're still Twitch streaming of my Swedish ancestry. So, I've been looking at technology in between episodes, and we could get more military organization now. However, if we look at our military and our retinue, we're way over our retinue cap anyways because of switching um, switching religion or, or reforming the religion killed our retinue cap. So, that would pretty much not really help us get any more retinue. So, it's not all that useful right now. However, looking at our kind of makeup of our army, we're very, very high on heavy infantry and archers. So, I'm thinking about taking military tech and light infantry, which will help our archers by 0.7%, and heavy infantry, which will, take, which will help our heavy infantry, by 1.5%. Also our pikemen. Do we have any pikemen? Eh, a couple. Like literally a couple dozen. So this is only 20 points. Next level up is 200 though. Let's take that. So we could get one more. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of cavalry. We have a little bit of light cavalry and nothing else. No heavy cavalry. We could do siege. Which would definitely help. I like siege. And that'll still leave us enough to bump up either light infantry or heavy infantry. Actually, that's a pretty decent boost. So it's going to go up almost 4%. That one's going to go up 4% as well. So really, I want... We have a lot of archers. We have more archers than anything. Though it's close. It's actually very close with the heavy infantry. But the great thing about archers is they do so much damage at the beginning. So if we can even bump up their art, their damage even more, that's more people they kill and less people we have to deal with as we're fighting the rest of the battle. So I think I'm going to do light infantry, and I do think I'm going to spend the 40 points to take the siege equipment. Um, when it comes to ec economy, I don't think any of that really matters right now. Uh, noble, I really just want to bump up. Yeah, this is a really big bump on legalism. So it's going to take a while to get there, but I think I'm going to save the points for that. Noble Customs just makes them like us a tiny bit more. Majesty, we can't get. Tolerance, I mean, we don't really care too much about different cultures and religions right now anyways. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to go attack him as a, um, as a looter, as a raider, because he just raided us. So we're going to, basically we're going to drop everything except for our retinue. Not saying I'm not going to bring them back, but it's going to take so long for them to walk over there. I mean, literally, it'd be less opinion probably to walk here and grab, well, it still takes so long just to walk here at all. Say so walk there, grab ships, and take them around. But i do it if we were on the, if we were on the water there. But, okay. So let's do that. I'm not going to bother with these guys right now. I think I'm going to really focus on them. Okay, we have a religious... Ooh, who are you trying to kill? Kraka. I'm assuming that's someone I know. We've got quite a few plots we know. Um, there we go. Actually, we don't know her. Why do you want to kill... Oh, they're rivals? Um, fine. I mean, I can... The nice thing is I can kind of... Use these guys as... Opinion stuff. I can tell them just to leave. And they'll like me more. So most of these guys are going to be hidden underneath me, I think. Heir to the County of Devon. Spy Master of Devon. I don't know. I'm not too concerned about any of this stuff right now. Factions? Yeah, those are pretty not big deal. And that's under the Norse faith, but not us in particular. That's still the only one that's not under Norse faith. But we still have 100% moral authority. So, cool. Okay. 
Now, what else do we want to do? What kind of plots do we have? We can revoke a bunch of Yaldums and counties. Probably not necessary. We own that, that, and that. That's all, only our three direct holdings? No, we own a bunch of counties overseas, probably. We own that. Oh, I forgot. We have, uh, we have these. He's losing his war. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, I don't want him to get any stronger. Oh, what kind of war was this, though? Holy war? You jerk! Oh, this is going to hurt the Norse faith a lot, and I'm not strong enough, actually, to help him. Wow. This is where I wish I had the U4 stuff, where I could see, like, exactly how strong these guys were all together. Yeah, this was not the time to start holy wars against the Christians. We need to get stronger. Okay. Oh, someone's trying to kill the prince. Is that my heir? No. Who's Prince Snorri? Of course, there's no easy way to do this, is there? Um, that doesn't work. Any... Oh, he is part of a great house. Is that Prince Snorri? There we go. Our half-brother. Who likes us quite a bit. And only has the county of... more. You, on the other hand... Yeah... I don't particularly want you getting any stronger. Let's, um... Here it is. Yeah, I could have gone there. That would have been the better way to do it. Let's just ask him to end his plot. Don't kill my family. Okay, we're over here already. And have been for a bit. How are our vassal levies? They're not too bad. So let's, let's raise a few. Those are all the closest ones. Not a whole lot. Let's raise our... Oh, okay. Misread that. Eh, not worth it. There's a few more troops. I think we'll just have to raise our big levy. Forty-four? Yeah, why not? Come on down.
Uh, white piece would be a good idea. I know you think you have better numbers, but I'm not helping. Honestly, the best we can get is 7,000 troops. And, I mean, there's, like, about 13 right there. And he's already been kind of destroyed. Unfortunately, because I didn't go help him out. But, too late. Angerman Lind has been converted. Excellent. How are we doing? Can't tell. Yeah, this is all Norse. Okay, who do we have that's of special interest? You? Yeah. There's a reason for that, I'm sure. We'll leave it on. It's not too annoying. Galray! Excellent. Okay. Is that where I put you? No, you're still over here. There's Loon. Gallery. There we go. So we still need to do Colne and Sticked. Cornwall. That's where we were, right? That was the one that was left? Yes. Okay. So now let's do... Probably Sussex. Oh. Okay. How long is it going to take you? 20th of August? Eh. Not worth it. Okay, that looks good to me. Flag you guys as looters and send you in. So we're doing quite a bit more damage now. Six, ten, eight damage in this phase, just pretty much killing everybody in that opening phase, which is good. And then we just wiped out everybody. They didn't have time to run. Sounds good to me. And how big... So I'm not going to leave everybody over here. I'm just going to... Let's split off the retinues. That's the retinues. We'll leave our retinues behind. And actually, since you guys are so close, uh, we don't want to go there, though, because we can't actually take any money because we're not actually bordering. But we could put some ships out there. Maybe we should do that. I feel like we should be doing some more looting. So yeah, let's go here. And ship-wise, fleets. Could use our own, but that's expensive. That guy's in jail. He hates us. He's going to continue to hate us. So let's use his boats. I only get four, huh? Okay. Well, that's 400. Um, 40 gold? The 10 gold per ship, I think. And... 
And I wish I just knew which vassal stuff I had raised. Well, let's send those over here. Let's... Raise vassal fleets. So I know we're not using these guys as troops. So we'll send those over. We're not using... Well, we're not using his troops, I don't think. Maybe we are. I think we are. So let's drop those. Take those over as well. Drop those. And then drop the rest of them. Okay, then make sure we get the ones over here. And good. Ooh, some more tech from Constantinople. Excellent. So what is it going to be? All right, military. Can't really spend any of it yet, but always good to have military. Why aren't you guys looting? Oh, she is Norse. Her land isn't Norse. Oh, actually it is. I just assumed it's next to those guys, but that's why that's split up. Okay. Well, then we'll go here. This guy will be easy. Never mind. These ships can go away now. Uh, one subject has converted. That's fine. My niece Linda is aiming for the stars. You know what? I don't really want her to be ambitious. She's otherwise a very, very good character. Don't want that used against me later. Got some Old Norse down there. Avenberg. Yeah, let's get rid of these... Commanders. There we go. I mean, however, if we wanted someone to actually become a Viking, like one of our children, uh, they're too young. Never mind. Okay, let's pop up to speed four. Now, we could always bring in a shipload and kind of start picking off some armies, but still, in this area, we're not going to be able to do much damage. Really, if he was smart, he would see where things are going here and give up. But I'm willing to take the slight hit to our faith to let him lose. And actually, if he loses a holy war... He wants my niece and nephew to get married. The Prince of England. No, I kind of want him to marry someone bad. I don't want this guy to be so strong. Is this the heir? Heir to just a Jarldom. Your main heir. This guy, he's still Old Norse. Great. Oh, maybe we could attack him if he die. Whew. He's married a bastard, depressed, possessed lady. With quite good stats, actually. 
And he's good at Marshall, but not much else. And he's chaste. They may never have children. Interesting. After him is Vaughn. Also our nephew. Who's married to our niece. I'm going to decline. That was a lot of stuff, I know, for nothing interesting happening. But, yeah. And our wife is pregnant. Great. Our genius wife. Did she manage to give us any genius children? Oh, and yeah. No. She gave us a hair lip child. Well, hopefully that'll go better. Hopefully it'll be a boy. Oh, our very long held ambition to become uh, better at stewardship has finally fired. So bookkeeping is an unappreciated art. Basically, we're just going to get one stewardship. Yay. Hopefully, we will get higher and higher soon. That does give us one more domain size, though, which is good. This guy's been raiding. Good for you. Never match my prestige, but that's okay. We're still pretty young, aren't we? We're only 39. Yay! So we finished both of those sieges. Didn't even look at how much money we made. And burned them to the ground. So we are sieging now Trondelheim. That. Is that how? But we don't... Yeah, we burned it down, but we don't actually own it yet. I'm going to do the little trick. Oh, we don't have two different armies here, do we? So we need to just remove one of these. That one. Have it not be a looter anymore. Move the whole thing out for a second. Same over here. Just... Uh, you. Have you not be a looter anymore. And then move both of these guys out. Just for a tick. Then I want the non-looter to stay. Non-looter to stay. We're doing the little chintzy thing, but that guy pissed me off, and I want to burn all this stuff to the ground. So now... This is just going to save us a little bit of time, too. Now we can just assault this really quick. Good. So now we are occupying it. Instead of just burning it to the ground. And we've been pulling people out of their hidey holes, too. When do we get to do a blot again? Okay. So these should go much faster, because they're just... Actually... Yeah, they probably don't have as high... Yeah, that's going to go very fast. You old Norse lady wants to... Actually, can we... Let her rot. We can't demand and, and conversion, huh? Surprising. Uh, time in prison. We got some people who've been here a very, very long time. Very interesting. We can't make them convert. Okay. Um, actually, this is, episode's gone long enough, I think. So in the next episode, we will finish off uh, raiding over here. And we will bring these guys into... Yeah. I, I We'll have some sort of cast a spell against them, and we'll bring them into the country and convert them. And he will rue the day that he ever raided me. Mr. Tronde. Oystein, Oystein of Tron, Trondeleg. I don't know. Something like that. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.